What's up, Devil and Family? It's your girl Maya, and I'm back with another video. A baby's in the living room. I think he's on the phone right now. Your girl ain't been wearing no makeup. I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying, clear my skin or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I've been chilling, y'all. We have so much stuff that's been going on. Y'all know we talked about not filming the girls, but then we're kind of like, you know what? We have so many videos already put out of our children. Our children have been asking us nonstop, Mommy, can we get on YouTube? Mommy can't even be on a video. We've been trying so hard not to film them, but I feel bad that, you know, we can't even film our kids. Or I'm not saying we can't film them because we can, but it's just so sad how sick this world is. We're not gonna get too far into that. It's recorded literally the second we found out it was recorded. I know you guys are ready for Vlogtober. We're gonna be going Vlogtober this year, so I'm super excited. I need to run to the mall with the bags because I have some errands to run. Yeah, I don't feel good. I just feel like I wanna everywhere but anyway i hope you guys are ready for this video i'm gonna get ready to get dressed and head out and i'll see you guys in a little bit i'm gonna get armani some school clothes because she's starting school and i basically want to make sure she has everything that she needs to start school I'm about to hurry up and grab everything that i need my camera's about to die so i'm disappointed and i'll show you guys when i get home everything that i got but i need to hurry up and get this stuff asap So I have Armani's school clothes. I got, I just pretty much got something for everybody. The only person I didn't get anything for is Melanie, but Melanie has a surprise that's gonna be on the way home soon. So let's just hurry up and get up out of here so we can go see if her package has came already. But Melanie's just got canceled. Why? Huh? You paid for it already, right? Yes. How they cancel it after we pay for it? I don't know, but I guess it was out of stock. They probably put too much on the website. So her desk isn't coming and we can't surprise her. Just letting you know. What are we gonna do with the chair? I guess bring it back. I mean, it's a pink chair. It's no pink desk online, unless you like spray paint it. Or, I don't know, but I just wanna tell you. Where are we going? In the store. In the store. Y'all check out my baby drip. What? Check out her drip drip. Ooh, drip drip. Ooh, drip drip. Okay, y'all, so we are getting ready for our October intro. Yeah, Vlogmas. For Vlogmas. I mean, Vlogtober. I mean, Vlogtober. Yeah, Vlogtober. This is our first Vlogtober. So we're trying to figure out what we're gonna get for our intro. We don't know exactly what we plan on the one, but we're gonna do some shopping around. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna do some shopping around. We got Milan with us. Say hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hold daddy's hand. Make sure you hold daddy's hand or mommy's hand. I think daddy is be being so silly. You think you want those? Yeah, this would be dope to be a part of it. Like, <laughs> we don't even know the thing we're doing. I got silly. A place. Some big ass scissors. Cut Milan. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> get one. You wanna get one and scare daddy? <laughs> yeah, okay, well, come on, let's go. I ain't gonna new tell y'all. New wheels. New whip for KJ. He ain't that thing. He ain't that thing. Big babe. Huh? Stop it. I'm saying. My baby it. fall, I'm gonna pop you. Yeah, I'm gonna pop you. 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 Okay, let's go. So I don't know what we're looking for. So we just doing some shopping around y'all, trying to figure out what we're gonna. Uh oh. You better not scare my baby. You better stop. <laughs> Say be nice. Let's get her like this. She don't want that. Get her No. Don't scare me. Okay, let's see. What you think? <laughs> Probably this one, right? I like that one. one Do you see the other down. one? I like that one. Probably the one that goes, yeah, that one. This one, right? Yes. Okay. We're gonna get that one. Okay, y'all. Yes. We got the things that we ain't gonna tell y'all is that we're not gonna be too specific because we don't wanna spoil the experience for y'all for our vloggers intro. But we also got a few other things. You know what I mean? Cane, pipe, a mustache, and Maya some glasses. What else we need, baby? I need some, we need some outfits. And we need some, some hair. Oh yeah, let's go look some more. Let's okay. look some more. We are just about done, about to wrap it up. We got pretty much everything we need. <laughs> Y'all, y'all know me and Marquis got jokes. We got jokes today, so this is about to be an epic, 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 epic intro, huh? Yeah, Milan in here. Milan is ready to go shopping for Halloween, so 
we're gonna drop that video soon probably you know we bring the girls to get their costumes look look at this look at this Back yeah here. yeah she want to come over here but anyway y'all we got what we need about to go ahead and check out and yeah we, we lit we got what we need just know y'all about to be laughing for a whole month straight when we done with this here what time back okay so anyway y'all like i was saying it's been a hell of a day right now if you wonder where i'm at i'm sitting here about to eat i'm waiting on my grandma i'm about to help her move some uh stuff around in her storage so for starters literally like a hundred feet away from our house you know the generators that i don't know about how y'all grew up but a lot of times when I was younger, we used to just be outside just sitting on the generators and anyway, and I think they called transformers, something like that. Anyway, so the generator exploded. It's like a hundred feet away from our crib, from our front door and knocked all the power out. Mind you, y'all know how hot it's been. The past few days, it ain't been too bad, but for somebody today, it was hot. It was, the sun was beaming, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So the generator explodes, obviously knocked the power out. So it's a big commotion, everybody's outside. Mind you, we're so close to our place, so literally it's like everybody's in front of our place. So, once it exploded, it caught on fire, blah, blah, blah. All the black smoke coming up, cause it was like some type of, it was like electrical fire, but there was cooling and stuff in there too. So you know, the smoke was crazy colors cause of all of the different, y'all know how they work. So mind you, it's a bunch of people out there the uh, fire truck everything end up coming fire department blah 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 they end up coming so when they start to maintain the fire so that it don't catch the whole building on fire or so that it don't burn all of the like uh bushes and stuff around it so it's a lot of like black smoke i mean black smoke white smoke the smoke is just but now it's really thick and now it's like at ground level it's not going straight up anymore because they like they they trying to keep it contained so there's this woman and she's standing like in the smoke. So I told her, I'm like, and I'm not no nosy dude. I usually mind my business, but I was kind of concerned. I'm like, hey, are you uh, familiar with asphyxiation? You might want to stand on the other side so that you're not breathing all that stuff in, blah, blah, blah. Kind of brushed me off. So at that point I was like, okay, well you just do you, whatever. So it got, I ended up going back in the house and When I go back in the house, it started getting hot, so we contemplating leaving. You know what I'm saying? We contemplating going to somewhere else to either a friend or a family member's house. We planning on leaving because it's hot. The kids in the house, my in the house, we don't want to be hot and uncomfortable. It's hot outside, air ain't working, blah, blah, blah. So I see the, um, I, mind you, in the midst of all this, I called the girls to the window just so they could watch the fire, blah, blah, blah. I didn't want them outside with all the people outside. So I, I called them to the window so they could like see it and everything. So we all sitting at the window and I see a center point truck pull up. So at that time, like, I go out there to see if he got like an ETA. Cause I know a thousand people asking him. So either I was gonna hear him answering somebody or I was gonna answer, ask him myself and get my own answer. So I asked him, he said, well, that generator or that uh, transformer not directly connected to y'all's building. So y'all should be back up and running in like 20, 30 minutes. So cool, I'm cool, I'm like, that's a bet. Mind you, when I went down there, it's another woman sitting right in front of our door on the little stoop thing. I ain't paying no mind, cause I ain't really, I mean, it ain't really bother me. So I'm, I'm, I kept going, asked the dude, blah, 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 go back up. Then when I go back up, like 10, 15 minutes later, I'm hearing all kind of commotion, right? Like, it sounds like they like right at my door. So I walk down and it's like this lady just laid out, everybody over her doing this and that. But somebody literally, I guess, I don't know if it was from the heat or what, lady passed out directly in front of our door. Like, when I say directly in front of our front door, it's like, I can walk out, I have to walk sideways to not step on her, like, Bro, she was directly in front of our door. Mind you, there was a lot of people outside, so now we got like somewhere in between 15 to 25 some people literally right in front of our door. I like peace. I don't really, I know it's not her fault. Well, I know, you know what I'm saying? It's probably completely out of her control, but it was just, it kind of, to be honest, caught me way off guard. So anyway, despite all that, I asked if they needed anything. 
I brought down like some um, cold water and ice water. I even brought down a towel in a bowl, everything. Like I brought all the stuff down that she might need just to kind of help her come back or shake back from it. So fast forward, ambulance gets here. She refuses service. She back kind of like she's still a little woozy, but she 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 like uh, like she talking. She she responsive. That's the word. So the guy was like, "Ma'am, well, I really think I should help you." Blah blah blah. She refuses service. So he asked me if she could come upstairs. And everybody, I mind you, it's like twenty something, fifteen to twenty some people out here. So I'm on the spot. And I'm like, honestly, no. We got our kids upstairs. I'm like, I don't, I don't think having all of this going on in my house, first off, it's gonna be traumatizing. My kids gonna think somebody either passing away or something. I don't want them to see something like that, especially if I can control it. So I said no. And then everybody literally like looking at me like I'm an a-hole. I'm like, I mean, bro, take her in. I just feel like I don't, I don't. I feel like that, I didn't want my kids seeing that. Especially, I didn't want my kids seeing that. She might not have been dying or anything, but still, what if I'm bringing her in my house and she passing out again, my kids gonna be screaming, scared, asking what's wrong. I don't want them traumatized or like that's, so let me know what y'all think, but anyway, long story short, I kept going out there checking on her after I, um, after that little part was over, she ended up good, and that's it. But anyway, it was a crazy day. It was a very, very a lot of stuff happened really fast. This was all all of this happened in like less than an hour. A generator exploded, power went out. It was getting hot. It was about to leave. I couldn't figure out how to open the garage. Well, I figured out how to open it, but I couldn't figure out how to open it and lock it open so that I could drive out. So. We pretty much were stuck in a hot house. Plus it was a bunch of people right in front of my garage, cars there. It was like, man, it was crazy. But anyway, like I said, I'm about to help my granny move this stuff around in her garage. She should be right down the street. So as soon as she get here, we'll knock that out and then we'll be back to the crib.